All right, so in this quick little video, I just wanna go over what I've learned from over a hundred guest editors now. So watching all these talented, talented photographers edit their photos beginning to end, and it's so interesting when you see such a range of different styles. Everyone's got their own process. Everyone's got their own feeling to their photography because that's what styles do. They, they help us create the energy that the photo has. Some people go for the artsy, glamorous look. Some people are more moody and dark. And then, and then some people want it really subtle and look a bit like film. And everyone has such a different approach. And it's just really, really interesting when you see hundreds of these lessons so I just want to go over like how this affected my editing and what I look for in styles and stuff now so as you probably know I have hundreds of really talented photographers teaching inside the course here so and the reason I did this is because through my YouTube channel I got sent raw images and I realized how helpful it was for me to improve my editing so when I created the course I wanted people to learn how I learned but even better so that's why you get the preset raw image and the lesson breaking down how they edit the photo because that is the most frictionless way to learn editing and not waste your time because this is extremely time consuming learning editing and then editing itself okay so we're on the course website here so if we just click on view curriculum and we scroll down so we've got all the early lessons that teach you the fundamentals and then quite advanced tactics around working with color and stuff and then we're into the guest editor section so guest editor section what it does for me is it just gives me a lot of clarity it gives me a lot of peace of mind that I'm not missing anything when I upload my photo and I go why is it why doesn't it look like someone else's it's not because my camera is not good enough it's because you get the raw image and you get the step by steps there's a lot of transparency for myself like I'm someone who's trying to learn editing more as well and even though like I'm pretty good at 250 Lightroom tutorials even I'm still learning lots from these guest editors and then I take what I know I help people that enroll get to where I was or where I am in my level of understanding and editing and techniques and then come into the guest editor section where they can start to build their own style. We want a really, really strong foundation. All of these lessons up top and then when we come down, we can get a bit more precise on edits, but we need that strong foundation of knowledge and then we can get a bit fancy with creating different styles and little or like the finishing touches uh in this video though talking about what i've learned so carl volgers taught me a bit about cleaning up your image i'm super stoked to be a part of this and can't wait to show you my in-depth workflow starting here in lightroom and moving over to photoshop and the use of a strong s curve and and little things you can do to exaggerate the photo a lot of people love carl's Kelly taught me all about um, manipulating your photo to look like film, which is what like so many people want. Hi guys, my name is Kaylee Taylor. I am a destination wedding photographer based out of Jacksonville, Florida for the digital images. So this image here is a photo that was shot on Portra 400. So this is 35 millimeter film. So I'm actually gonna be using that as a reference to edit this image here, which is a raw photo that is digital. Emma, I was just, I reached out to her because I, sh I was sure her images were on film and turned out they were digital and her skin tones, her skin tones were exceptional. They had the perfect amount of pink to the skin tone. So watching her edit taught me about skin tones for sure. Um, there's so many, uh, Josh Ball, the way he uses the curves for the silky matte, matted look to his images. I wanted to know what he was doing there. So I learned a, a bit around there. Uh, Masala was a really big one for me because it's such a desired look her look it looks really really good the closest you can get to like a nice natural not overdone look it's quite cinematic and it's she's I think she's just maybe the best wedding 
editor I see out there. So it was amazing to have her teaching. Uh, Harvey Dean, so he does something, he, he has a very strong film look. He did something in the curves that gave a softness to the image that I was very surprised about, thought a lot about and helped me re realize why you would lift the mids and the curves. Uh, Linus, so he made me realize like how individual a photo is to its editing and like his editing is quite subtle and what he does with the filters and radial filters I was like whoa he used them in ways I, I wouldn't have thought to use them Uh, Chelsea, the way she put warmth into the image, I would not have thought to up the temperature so much. I would have tried to use split toning or the curves, but she just upped the temperature, took out some other colors. And it was interesting how she got her color palette. Um, Ricardo, I think he's just got some of the best landscape photos, especially his cleaning up the image and his smoothness he gets those images are really really good and then Robin his color palette is one I see a lot of people asking for and he does a really great job and it was really interesting to see his um, Dan Jensen I, his S curve I just like I wouldn't have known he was using such a strong S curve there's so many I love Kiara's as well but what all they have in common and there's gonna be more guest editors coming but what I really really learned and I learned this early on was when I used to learn Lightroom I used to think what is the best way to use these tools bring up the dehaze is that the key bringing down the dehaze the clarity should be brought down or brought up reds in the shadows i used to think reds in the shadows was the best way to edit a photo but every single adjustment it is intentional to the style you want you really can move any tool in any direction and i think that's why photo editing is so frustrating to so many people or it takes so long to learn is because you can go in any direction with any of the tools but it's up to you to know the style you want to go with that photo so the only way you can move tools is to have a really good understanding of the tools themselves so what are they going to do when you move this tool and the direction you want to go in terms of style so now you should understand all the tools the curves the color theory everything you need to follow each of these guest editors step by step and understand what they are doing because without section three two and one you won't be able to follow the guest editor section with confidence know exactly why they are doing what they're doing why are they doing that in the curves what effect does that have i just really thought there was a right and wrong way to sharpen an image or uh, use the filters a vignette is always good no vignette but it's just depending on the style you want that's probably the biggest takeaway so i realized it's not about this is the best way to edit a photo i realized that it's about understanding the tools so well and color so well that you are able to move an image into a certain style and just because you've seen one photographer that you really like say bring up the clarity or bring down that doesn't mean that's the best way to do it or like bring up the luminance of the yellows there are certain patterns you see throughout all the guest editors and i do talk about them and i do break them down and that's more so in this section like i talk about the commonalities between all of these and, and then the differences and why these difference differences it's like some people get their color palettes with split turning and some get their color palettes with curves majority do it with um curves but some don't and i find that really interesting but only not many do and yeah and i'm just uh, excited to keep adding guest editors like i sort of say my, say to myself okay that's all the guest editors you need to to build any style you want but then i go and i come across a guest editor and i go oh i really really like i know how to i, I know how to probably create that style but i just go i want full transparency on how they do that and then i ask them to be part of the course so i typically reach out to people i personally want to see and learn from but if you have someone in mind or a style you really want to get let me know um, on the course instagram page dm me there um, and we'll get you to that style and I might even ask the guest editor the person become a guest editor because this is going to continue to grow into the number one editing resource in the world already is and we've had over a thousand people go through so yeah that's it for this one and yeah I'll catch you in the next one